Let's give this baby a try. So those of you that are not into alcohol, you can truly enjoy this. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Hello. Welcome back to Candice Corner. So it's November 11th. You're going to see this on the weekend, which is either the 14th, which is a Saturday, or the following Saturday. But today is November 11th. It's my sister's birthday. And she asked me to bring a drink and come spend the day with us. So I'm going to do that. So I'm, I thought of making a cocktail, but I said... Let's not drink. Let's make a nice, fun, family drink everybody can enjoy. So I'm going to make a mocktail. So in this mocktail, this is what I'm going to put in it. Remember my uh, red cherries? I'll put that link above. So I'm going to use those red cherries. I have made some more of those cherries, so I'm going to use that. Then. I'm going to use some mint that I have in my garden. I'm going to use the orange and I'm going to use the spearmint. All right. And I also going to use some crush ice, like you're seeing on the screen. And some lime and olives. And we are going to use some ginger ale. So we're going to put all those ingredients together and we're going to come up with a real refreshing mocktail. Now, in this mocktail, I'm going to do it two ways. We're going to layer it the same way, but the cherries, I am going to use a model and just, you know, just mush the mints. I'm going to use two of the orange and two of the spearmint. With the cherries, I'm going to mash them in together and then I'm going to put the ice and then the ginger ale and the lime juice and, and all of that, right? So that's how we're going to make that one. Stir that around, drink it. Then I am going to put all the ingredients in a container and crush everything together with the same mother. Just mash it around and a nice pinkish looking drink and have it that way i would tell you the second one would be a more infused drink because you're more releasing more of the flavors from that cherries which has pepper and a bit of sweetness and you're going to get a lot of acidity from the lime you're going to get that also from the uh, olives you're going to get also a little saltiness from the olives and so you have a little bit of everything and a little bit of sweet in the ginger ale i'm not going to add any syrup because i have sweet it is already sweetened by the cherries and also the ginger ale if it was using just a club soda a plain club soda then i wouldn't uh, i would have used a sweetener but seeing that the cherries is already sweetened. The ginger ale is already sweet. It makes no sense adding extra sugar to this drink. So let's put this ginger ale drink together with all this other ingredients and create an awesome, awesome mocktail recipe that you and your entire family could enjoy. You could even bring the kids in with you making this recipe and everybody get involved and have this nice refreshing drink on a very hot day. Alright, so we're going to go to the garden, pick the mint, 
Now, I wouldn't take you along the garden today. I'm just going to pick the mints, come back in, and get started. All right? So come on, on. Let's get this mocktail together and have ourselves a good drink. Mm. I am using two cups of ice. If you're making less, I guess you can use one. But it all depends on how, on how nice and cool you would want your cocktail mocktail to be. So I am using one cup of freshly crushed ice. cherries don't forget the link for that cherry will be above i am using two of each of the mints and then i am going to crush everything together so i could bring out all the flavors from the orange and the spearmint and also my red cherries again the link for that cherry would be in the cans above and the end screen so once i crush once i crush everything together and mince up break up the leaf and the cherry i'm now going to add my two cups of ice as i said you don't need to use so much and i am going to add half of that with ginger ale i'm not going to cover it too much because then it will get too watery the fizz will be gone and it will get watery because of the amount of ice so i'm going to add half the amount i am using half of a lime for the juice i would i squeeze some of that lime juice there just half of that lime okay and i just drop it in And enjoy. But then I decided, wait, I have some olive. Let me add some olive to add some little extra saltiness to this. The olives just to add that little extra salty taste. And give that a nice stirring. Let's take a sip. Mmm. Alcohol free. Fruity. Now the uh, recipe for my cherry is on my channel. I'm going to link it in this video. So you can check out how I made this cherry. You don't have to use this type of cherry. You could use natural fruits without all the sugar and coloring you know you could just use fresh fruit sorry and put this together just give it another try mm -mm. slight saltiness and uh, acidity from the lime the sweetness from the cherry the fuzziness and extra sweetness from the ginger the ginger ale everything complements each other and you have a nice family friendly summer drink let's give this baby a try So those of you that 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 not into alcohol, you can truly enjoy this. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Cheers. All right, guys. So let's taste this one, the one that we mixed up, and let's see how intense this drink is versus the one that we just tried without mixing everything up. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. 
this one you're tasting the salt you're tasting the lime juice you're tasting the little spice that is in my red cherry again that red cherry recipe is in the cards above wow this one doing it this way you would get a more infused drink and the other one where you just leave it as is and just give it a slight little stir it's really enjoyable too but this wow Mm -hmm. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and if you're making my cherry recipe and to make this drink and you have kids don't add pepper because you know the kids may not like the pepper so give the recipe a try thanks for watching and to my sister who should be seeing us after her birthday <laughs> happy birthday again Bye. Mm -hmm. I did that. Oh, I know it's awesome. When you're done drinking all this, you have all this cherry and stuff to eat. More for your money, eh? <laughs> all right, guys, bye.